Hey, what's up guys, welcome back. In today's recipe, I'm gonna show you how to make a spicy zucchini and cucumber salad that takes just a few minutes to whip up and is very, very easy on the pocketbook. All right, without further ado, let's dive into the recipe. First up, you wanna get started on slicing your zucchini and cucumbers. Here I'm gonna be using a mandolin to achieve very consistent slices, but you're more than welcome to use a chef's knife uh, to accomplish this. It just might not be as precise, but it will be relatively similar. Since you want to shoot for somewhere around the bite size range, especially when it comes to salads, I'm going to cut the zucchini slices in half, which is actually perfect for this because the Persian cucumbers or these pickling cucumbers are about the same length and width, so it works out. After you're done slicing everything up, transfer the zucchini and cucumber to a mixing bowl and give it a quick toss to separate all the slices. Next, you're gonna clear some space on the cutting board and add to your mixing bowl some chopped jalapeno or serrano chili, depending on how spicy you like it. Of course, the serrano being the spicier of the two. And of course, you're gonna add a handful of roughly chopped cilantro to that as well. You're going to dress this with a few squeezes of fresh lime juice, olive oil, salt, and fresh cracked black pepper. Give it a toss and it's time to plate it all up. All right, so when it's time to plate this beautiful salad, try to maximize the height of it and the beautiful ribbon texture when possible because it really shows off the elegance of what a few simple ingredients can become when paired with a few basic culinary techniques. And this is really one of the reasons why I love food so much. Kind of the longer it sits in this, uh, in the lime juice and the olive oil, it gets really tender. Nice, beautiful texture. Mm. Nice pop of spice. The zucchini and cucumber work beautifully together. It's a really light salad, but I feel like the zucchini is kind of the filler. It's kind of meaty, it has a little bit more bite to it than the cucumber. It just absorbs all the flavors just wonderfully. Wow. It's pretty amazing that you can get so much flavor, a lot of color, and such a beautiful dish that looks like you probably pay 12 bucks, maybe 14 bucks at, you know, a higher caliber restaurant. I think this is under somewhere in the 70 cent range, probably spans between 70 cents and like $1.50, depending on where you are and what kind of produce you get. But it's pretty amazing that you can eat a salad like this, as beautiful as it is, for close to a dollar or under. Definitely a great salad. It's gonna be going to my repertoire. It's just so crisp and refreshing, but it definitely gives you plenty of sustenance to you know, keep you going through your afternoon or whenever you're uh, eating this meal. Just to let you know, uh, this meal was inspired uh, by my partnership with Feed One. I'm sure you guys have been seeing me rock this throughout the recipe. And it's this really cool movement that's helping feed children all around the world who just don't, you know, have the money or have uh, the resources to provide for themselves. So it's a great organization. I'm going to be donating the money that I'm saving from these dishes. Uh, I've been eating like this for the last couple weeks with uh, you know, pretty cheap meals. Obviously, I haven't completely committed to the full week long under a dollar meal plan, but um, 
you know, eating these meals every once in a while or a couple times a week definitely helps your pocketbook. It's definitely nice to eat like this and save uh, a few bucks. So all the money that these dishes help me save is gonna be going to Feed One. Uh, so if you guys are interested in donating, make sure you check out my description box. It'll have all the links to donate some money to some very needy kids. And uh, that's definitely the heart and soul of food. That's why I'm so passionate about it. And um, it's really cool what you could do with it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you did, make sure you thumbs it up, share it with your friends and family, spread the word about Feed One and donate to the cause um, in my description box down below. All the links will be there. And I'll see you guys next time with another recipe. Later.